On today's episode of All Work No Play. Oh! All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I see. Ah. <laughs> no! No! Bad! Oh. <laughs> I just missed. Oh, I missed <laughs> again! <laughs> Coming up. All work, no play. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm going to count us down. Uh huh. In five, four, three, two. Oh, shit. You're supposed to do something now. Like, hey, welcome to the show. Can you believe that the show is <laughs> still here? The thing. <laughs> the, can you believe that the show is still here? Much better. Much better. I can believe the show is still here. Liam, this has been <clears throat> an epic season of All Work, No Play with your hosts, Sam Regal and Liam O'Brien. We, we have been shooting this season for nine months. We started in June. This is it. Here's the baby. It's now March. Yeah. Yeah. This is a show that did not exist behind us <laughs> Our here. Our set is gone. They took the bar they, and they put this little plastic plant set in. I was so excited for this new season because we had a new set in that we had moved slightly forward from our old set. Uh -huh. But our old set has literally been thrown into the trash can and <sighs> destroyed. It's gone. What? I, what, I don't, what is this show? What is this back here? What are we even doing? This is more hand motions than you asked for. <laughs> You're doing what are action. we even doing? The, it's everything like exponentially gets smaller and tighter with every episode of this show. Smaller Starting in your little dank hole in your house. We thought we were busy. We weren't busy. We might as well have been slobs. This is great, by the way. Is it? I want to try yeah. some. <laughs> um, we're broadcasting from a brand new set. Oh. I believe this is the set of a new show on the YouTubes called Critter, Critter Hug, Hug, which I know nothing about. I know a little bit about it. It stars Matthew Mercer. Okay. Glorious. Heard of him? Uh, sometimes. Okay. And our good friend, friend of the show, uh, guest of Critical Role. I'm going to interrupt you. Did yeah. you know that Matt Mercer's middle name is Christopher? My middle name is Christopher. Oh. I feel like I just got closer to him. Yeah. Aww. Middle name drop. All right, go on to the next host of the show. Ah, Christopher. <laughs> uh, Mika Burton, friend of ours. Wait, she's on this episode with us. Crossover. This is a, a crossover is with a, a show I've never heard of? This is a crossover of Critter Hug. Which is a show. And Critical Role. No. No. <laughs> it's, critical, it's Critter Hug and All Work, No Play. Uh, I mean, Critical Role's right over there. I don't know. It's guys. right over there. I don't know anymore. There was a set that was over there. But it's trash. But it's gone. Um, well, this looks like a really fun show. Just from the set, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a spoof of a 70s talk show mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Maybe they bring out, again, I know nothing about the show, so I'm just guessing here. Critter Hug, they bring out animals. Yeah. Like they used to on the, like on the Tonight Show yeah, sure, or whatever. Sure. Mm -hmm. And they let them crawl all over them yeah, and like stuff like that. Yeah, like a lemur or a bush baby or- uh, Yeah, and they know. have someone from the local zoo come up by right. and talk about the you know the snow leopard that they have right. there that day. And it poops on Matt and everyone laughs and that's the show. Well, I think we've done a good job <laughs> of repping the show and the channel. All right. Be sure to tune in to Critter mm -hmm. Hug every- To get all your D&D &D playing <laughs> tips. <laughs> But here we are for our show, All Work, No Play, mm -hmm. season two, episode five. Still a show. Still a show. Still a show. <sighs> there was such an air bubble in this show. We started this, this season. Do, you, do we, do, can we even call it a season? It's been five episodes. I think anything more than four is a season. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, better. so we, we, we limited our expectations for this season. Last season, I think we did eight episodes. Yep. This one, five. Yep. Manageable. Next season, we'll do one and a half. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, but it took us about two months to shoot each every, uh, each episode. Mm -hmm. um, this one we shot pretty recently. Like, I still remember doing the activity that we're talking Within about. Within a month, today. yeah. I have a couple of memories from that day. Um, we did some blacksmithing. We sure did. Yeah. With Gil the Blacksmith. Gil the Blacksmith. First, uh, we met Mika Burton. Right. We met uh, her outside of his, it was in like a, a complex, right? 
Yeah, like a like an industrial park of some sort. <laughs> it's Hello. Mika Burton, hey everybody. Guys. Hey, What's welcome. Up? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. And um, Mika Burton, if you don't know her, she's the host of Critter Hug. Actor, performer, avid cosplayer, a uh, delightful person. Hey. You found us. I did, and I we're don't... all wearing the same shoes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we are. <laughs> Why? Because we're going to do some blacksmithing today. Cool. <laughs> cool. Let's go into the... To the door, I guess. All right. We'll shuffle in after Darpa, you. Darpa, here we come. Um, she's a delight, and we met our our friend for many years now, Gil. Oh. Oh. Gil! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, guys. Wow. Welcome to my shop. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mm. In his workshop studio. <clears throat> this is your workshop studio? Nice. It's a blacksmith shop. And forge, in his forge. A smithy shop. is the, the proper term. Yeah. So this is where... The magic All the happens. Magic happens. It is, yeah. You have been fucking our game for close From to five here, years yep. Now. I'm watching this is where every the fucking start. Reach. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've never forged with him before. We've just been fucked by him for close to five years now. Yes. If you don't know what Liam's talking about, I'm not gonna help you out. <laughs> so Yes. Um, Gil is an expert blacksmith. We've known him for years. We've known him since the beginning. Uh, he was an early fan of the Critical Role and um, befriended us, and we roll dice that he has forged himself. Uh, yes, I have, a, I have a die. I have a d20. Mm -hmm. Do we all have a d20? Yes, mine's in my house. I keep mine in my office. I roll his <clears throat> d20. Yeah. It is not perfect. I think he was, this was early in his yes. smithing career. Yes, he's evolved since we've known. Yeah, he showed us some when we were at his his studio forge, whatever. It's a blacksmith shop. Mm -hmm. um, that were pristine and perfectly crafted. But the one that I have is a little lumpy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, endearing that way. Yeah, it's the thought that counts. They, his dice roll terribly. Yeah. All the time. They never roll well. Yeah, and we, it, we have the... Uh, the habit now of saying, I think Marisha is the main perpetrator, Marisha Ray. Yep, there she is. Um, there she is again. Uh, of saying, don't fuck me, Gil, but it, he, he ends up fucking us anyway. <laughs> don't fuck me, Gil. <laughs> and know where you're sitting. Roquet seat one. The, the dice that he makes now are awesome, and mm -hmm. you should go buy them if you can. I'm sure mm -hmm. we'll put up some information. Right there. Mm -hmm. There it is. So, Gil, we, we obviously know that you ruin all of our best moments on Critical Role. Of course. You send, but um, I want to know how you came to be able to do that. That is Tell a great question. Um, I want to say about 18 years ago was when I truly started blacksmithing, you know, forging and all that. Um, I took a class uh, basically in college, and... Uh, through there, the dean caught wind that I was making blades, decided to stop that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And he had a friend that lived in Laguna Beach, and he was my mentor for pretty much uh, three years, and I was uh, his apprentice, and I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think we met him at the Ren Fair? Is that right? I think that's right. I hope that's right. And if it's not right, they won't edit this out. We go to the Ren Fair every year with our friends. Yeah. And uh, it's fun. If you haven't been to a Ren Fair, guys... Oh you my should go. God, what a bunch of dorks. And I mean us. Um, uh, and it's it's a horde at this point. Like, it just feels like like we're crossing the Red Sea at Renfair now. Yeah. There's a lot but of But we us. dress up. Uh-huh. Well, at, at least for me, I think you, you're like this too. I go twice a year. I go once with my family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that my kids can enjoy and we have some wholesome daytime fun. That's right. Um, we do the the dunk tank. Mm -hmm. We do the, the hit the thing with the... The hammer and it goes up. Thing. Sure, the the test of strength, the feat of strength. Sure. I like the the very period activity they have at our local run fair, which is a bunch of large plastic bubbles with children in them running on top of water, which is very of the yeah. time. Yeah, my kids, yeah. my kids love doing. I have classic a whole, medieval ritual. Yeah, I have this beautiful bound edition of all of Shakespeare's sonnets, and opposite every sonnet is a picture of Shakespeare in one of those plastic bubbles, just sort of like paddling. Yeah, on the Thames. It. He couldn't get he couldn't, couldn't get enough. enough of it. Yeah, yeah. not a rascal um, that guy. That's why they called it the Globe Theater. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, so we go to Ren Fair every year. I go with my kids once. You yep. go with your kids once, I uh, think. Yes. And then we all go together a second time. And that's when... <laughs> that's not family. That's family. when the drinking and the drugging happens. Oh, <laughs> it's all the drugs at Ren Fair. Oh, yeah. We Man. just eat all the drugs we can. Just, just dunk tank and meth. <laughs> um, Classic But Ren we Fair do style. go to 
at least at our own fair, it's called the oubliette. The oubliette. That's like the area with the bars. That's our go-to. You kind of get everything done in one one stop. You can yeah. really just do that once. You really should do and that once. you can once. drink mead and have a mm-hmm. wench yell at you while you drink mead. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we dress up in costume. Mm-hmm. My costume cost about $18. It's real shitty. Mm-hmm. I have plastic boots. I have a peasant frock. And I think some pants that I think you loaned them to me and okay. I forgot to okay. give them back. Okay. okay. So those were free. You have a pretty good outfit, though. I do. I remember getting to know uh, our friends M&M, uh, Matt and Marisha, oh. back in the day. Like, they used to have Chris. garbage bags of... Uh, of costumes. And I used to think like, what grown person has this much costuming Mm -hmm. shoved in their garage? I now have three massive plastic tubs in my garage full of space shit, Ren Fair, a Fallout uniform, things we've worn on in in this studio. You know what else you have a lot of? What do I have? A lot of. (laughs) (laughs) This is is powerful. Yes. By the way, uh, today- I'm Sorry for turning into Adam Sandler for a quick second. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is called this drink is called a blacksmith in keeping mm-hmm. with our theme today. It was not made by our producer, Natasha, <clears throat> because we've been doing this season so long that our producer, Natasha, who definitely existed, mm-hmm. quit the show yep. <laughs> and works on another Went show now. Greener Pastures. Yeah, we wish her well, but what the fuck? <laughs> well, maybe she'll come back for the one half episode of season three. All right, let's 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 Just hope. as like a callback. Oh, man. I can't believe she couldn't, she couldn't last the nine months that took us to make these five episodes. <laughs> but we decided to, we were going to go make a dagger. Make knives. Be manly. Yeah. Uh, or, or womanly. Mika was there as, as well. Uh, well, she was womanly. Yes. And we were manly. That as is you true. can see on the camera how manly we are. We were discussing this before the camera started rolling about, about manly things and, and concepts of what it is to be a man. And um, I don't know what we are. We didn't get very far in that conversation. No, no, no. It, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I had ideas of like, oh man, b- big dudes and strong decisions. And you know, and I'm, this is really just adulthood. Like when you're a kid, you're like, I'm going to get there and I'm going to know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to sound like, like Sam uh, Elliott. Sam Elliott. <laughs> okay, good. Really? Um, <laughs> but none of that happened. And no. uh, I guess we're adult men now. Yeah. Yeah, my concept of what of what I'm very happy with the the man that I am now. My concept of it is is very different. It is not like a big. I don't know if this, if it ever was this, but it, it it wasn't like big brawny barbarian with a sword or mm-hmm. or cowboys. I was never into that kind of thing. Sure. But now I, you know, I'm just like a doofus who 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 like loves his kids fiercely and 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 I play make believe, and I like that man. I think make believe is an interesting like take on masculinity. Yeah, you know. I think uh, the concept of manliness has changed uh, and evolved in good ways over the years, especially in our little bubble that we live in. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, like men can be nerds and men can be make believies and uh, and are we make believies? We're make believies. Uh I'm not into the sports very much, but I don't think you have to be no to be uh, a super stud like I am. Is it the rowing machine that makes you a super stud? I haven't used that in so long because I hurt my back. What did you do to it? I hurt it. Oh, that clears that up. <laughs> Man, I feel like we're on such a tangent. We haven't talked about the fucking back blacksmithing yet. The what? The blacksmith. <laughs> what does that have to do with what we're talking about? We're talking about blacksmithing today. It's the fun that we've done. It's true. Now we're talking about my back. Here, let's talk about, like, we'll do two you minutes know, of blacksmithing. You know what's manly? Back problems. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's just true. If you're an adult man, you're going to have back problems. Sorry to break it to you, kids. It's true. But here, let's just, we'll get some blacksmithing out of the way, then we'll come back to this. All right. Okay? I'm reshaping the show. I'm editing it as we go. Yes, we need to return to our time-honored structure and format (laughs) of all work, no play. Please rein me in. We got to Gil's Studio Forge thing. It's a blacksmith shop. We talked to him about what we were doing for the day. Yep. He had some cool old swords. Oh, he had a skeleton hanging in a fucking cage from the ceiling. And at one point, didn't he say it was like a real skeleton? Yes, he did. Like from a real human man or woman body. I don't know, but it's more fun to think that that that's what happened. Okay, So that's what happened. So he has a real, uh, 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 he has a a living- He had a skull. Maybe it was the skull. The skull was real? That was real. I think that might be what it is. Whatever it was, he had a lot of cool shit. He had banners, he had swords, he had axes, he had a shiv. Oh yeah, he had a, an antique weapon. These blades here are really, really old artifacts 
from history. Okay. This one here is yeah. King George III's sword. Fuck you. Was it one of the Louis? Let's say Louis the Sixteenth. It came from France. Louis the Charlemagne. Oh, Charlemagne from the the host of the hip George the Third. That sounds just like Louis. George the Third. Are you just making shit up? No, I think that's <laughs> right. That that rings true. All right, great. We had a, a personal contact with an artifact from George the Third. Mm -hmm. One of the top three Georges. Yeah. You can look at the uh, the regal symbol. May I? Yes, you may. Oh wow! Wait, what? How did you get that? I went to France, of all places, and they had it there, and I, I knew they the value. They had it in France? Oh. They had it in France, so. You just so... got off the airport? No, no. <laughs> it wasn't quite a, a, a airport purchase, but. Uh... Home, home, home. Whoa. Wow. Question. Whoa. Yes. Could this kill someone? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. Any one of these things can kill someone. Would it slice <gasps> someone? Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and that axe down there is a real uh, Viking axe from of around the, uh, the seven to 1500s. I haven't, I haven't dated it quite uh, yet. Whoa. This is a Viking axe? Whoa. Wow. Look how heavy the thing is. And it was a one-handed axe. I made it, uh, I, that's not the original handle, but. Uh, one-handed, this is one -handed. heavy. For a Viking, it wasn't. They're also, you know, <laughs> seven feet tall. Just and for us, let me see this. That's so cool. That's it. Their was the are... original uh, handled this long? No, no. It was around to oh, there. Yeah, right, right. That there. makes sense. That makes sense. That's a shiv. That's just a prison That's shiv. That's a shiv. <laughs> That's pretty much a shiv. That is. Um, but you own a lot of daggers. Uh, sure I do. You um, own tons of daggers and... If I may segue, that's what we decided to make with Gil the Blacksmith today in the show. And we'll get to make some weapons today? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess ready? we should get to it. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Let's uh let's head over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a real uh, collection at this point from playing the half-elf on our D&D show, and, and people have sent in many knives to me over the years. I've got about seven, eight, nine, ten. I've lost track. They're in a bag stored at the, deep in the back of a closet in my office, which is locked. I don't, I'm like, I'm not a gun guy. I'm, I'm not a knife guy either, but I have a lot of knives. But they're in a box. I mean, the people who sent you those knives are probably watching the show right now. No. Shouldn't you just sort of lie and say they're prominently displayed uh, in your office or they something? They come in and out of there and I use them for things like killing. Oh. But um, <laughs> I have two children and I don't want them stumbling across a, okay, a sharp-ass collection of knives. See, that's so cool. You get all these knives delivered to you. I get a bunch of blue poop mm -hmm. delivered to my, to my house. Yeah. Um, now I get flasks. I get flasks that's, for my new character. That's better. Yeah. That's marginally better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome to my design table, you guys. This is pretty much where I do a lot of the, the planning, the finalization of what I want that's in my head to appear. So I've got a kind of like a cheat sheet list here going on. And basically, we're going to start with the design. Oh. Yeah. And <laughs> you <wouldn't> know. <laughs> so we're going to start with the design. They're going to work down the stages. Uh, after we do the design, we'll start uh, the forge up and we'll work on um, the daggers. So okay. one, one real quick thing. Yeah. First of all, I finally met someone with worse handwriting than me, so that's good. <laughs> um, step three, the rough grind. Yeah. Is that what I typically do at home in my bedroom? Is that like... No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, rough grinding is pretty much going on to the belt grinder and using a really, really rough grit okay. belt that will remove a lot of the material quickly. So that way you can go to the finalization part quicker, right? So okay. you don't want to sit there and, and, and wait. And one other just question, heat treat, same mm -hmm. question. Is that what I do at home? No, Okay. Cool. definitely not what you do at home. This okay. is, uh, heat treating is basically where you get the, the metal um, hot enough to quench in uh, oil. Ooh. And basically you're hardening the steel. You're hardening the metal. That is what I do at home. Uh -huh. yeah. Do we get to do the thing with the water bucket that I see in movies where you stick it in? Not water, or oil. Only oil? That's, well, oil. Is that always oh. oil? So in, in harder steels like this, you want to use oil. The reason why is because water will act as a very, very uh, quick uh, quenchant and it'll make the, the metal too brittle. Mm -hmm. And you could basically crack the metal mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that. Which is so, bad for stabbing. Very bad for stabbing because it might break. What kind of oil do you use? Um, typically you're using uh, specialized oils for metals, not so not like not chicken. Crisco can't make. Yeah. You can. Onions. You technically, I, we're going to be using a little bit of canola uh, here because oh, I don't wow. have the proper oil with me. 
It's the same same deal, um, but you don't have to... Less calories. Less calories, exactly. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's go get to the, the design part of it. Um, I don't want to leave this table. There's so many things I want to yeah. know about yeah. and yeah. touch. And this thing. What even happens in here? You made that, this. That was my very, very first dagger that I've ever made. Oh, that's heavy. Uh, yeah, well, the back is <laughs> Yeah, heavy. the back is heavy. <laughs> and that's why it's, it's bad. I was uh, 13 when I first made it, and the, uh, the weighting is just too heavy. It's off balance. I learned a lot from doing this, but I didn't use fire. Steel, when you heat it up to the bright orange, behaves a lot like clay. Oh. You can mold it, bend it, mash it, twist it, all that stuff. And um, obviously, if you don't you have uh, the proper heat, you're going to have to do it by hand. And I did this cold, and it's just, it's horrible. This it's, does look like every 13-year-old's like dream right. weapon. Necromancer's yeah. dad. Yeah. 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 We designed our blades, mm -hmm. and yeah. we drew, drew it out onto uh, like uh, chocolate bars. This is the metal we're going to be using here. I used a 1074 steel. Sure. This is high enough carbon that it'll hold an edge, but it's not too high where it might be too brittle. Not chocolate bars. They were shaped like chocolate bars. They were shaped like chocolate bars. Yeah. Yeah. But deadly chocolate. Deadly bars. chocolate. I realize that you guys are not going to be using it, uh, but I want to use well, the proper steel. I mean, I think we're going to be using it. I, I, I'm, I'm intending to use mine. I'm not limiting myself in advance. Yeah. Well, then I'm glad I chose the right material for you guys because this is the proper steel to use. All right. Question. Is yes. the difference between a knife and a dagger, a dagger has two blades and a knife has one? Uh, edges, yes, correct. So yeah. a dagger will have b both of these edges sharpened. Okay. Yep. Ah. And today we're making daggers. 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 We're making for dagger, stabbing. dagger, dagger. Also, I mean, dagger, dagger. mine's gonna done. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna like make it like thicker here and thinner? Here? Like there's there's levels to it. Mm -hmm. Is that Absolutely. complicated or are we gonna learn um, how to do that? We're gonna learn how to do that. <gasps> okay. Will we be as good as you by the end of the day? No. You made one that was, I think, pretty conventional, pretty standard. Yeah, it was the killing kind. It was sharp and pointy on the end and then. I would like to have a grip uh, that has got a skull on the end and flames coming out of the skull. <laughs> and then more flames. skulls coming out of the flame. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I want a groove from the tip of the dagger that goes down to an eye at the base of the dagger to unleash the fourth horseman of the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mika's was a little wider than yours, perhaps? Maybe? If memory serves? Let's take a look at it. All right, so what kind of blade do you want? I literally want this. You this just is want like the a standard it's dagger. It's like a thiefy, good dagger, mm -hmm. so I can take it home and then I can wrap it with leather cool. and make it look cool and, and LARPy, even though I'm pretty sure I can't bring a real blade probably, to a LARP. Probably not. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. But that's, yeah, this with that's like... That's the idea. All right, so you... Can, it's something just your last LARP ever. I don't know yet. True. And then for, for this part, I like the wide... I feel like that's... The wide hand. Yeah, the wide, the wide guard. The yep. wide guard, but it's kind of curved as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that yeah, clears yeah, it up. Yeah. That clears it up a lot yeah. right there. Uh, you opted to make your blade in the shape of an S because you're an asshole. I would, I I think I'm, yeah, no, you're right. I'm an asshole. Can I have it be in a subtle S shape? <laughs> like subtle all the S way down? Just like shape. a subtle S through the whole, like a... Like this. Yeah, but but the other way. Well, I guess if you turn it over, it's an S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I decided to make an S blade because that's like S for Sam. Yeah. And I have an ego problem. <laughs> um, what about you, Lee? Uh, I just want to etch into the side of mine. It can be any shape, and but we will put a, a command into it. It'll ah. just be, now you bleed out. Mm. Now Ooh. you bleed mm. out. And then it, the trick actually does work. It, you're right. When you use it, it does what it says. So he showed us around, then he, then we got into it. Yeah. He gave us some safety tips. It's a very dangerous mm. thing. Yeah, you really shouldn't do it. We shouldn't do any of the things that we do. No. Um, after we aired a past episode of this show where we worked with chainsaws, all I got were messages like, man, I work around tools like that and you guys did not do it right. I watched the comments yeah. for that episode and you're totally right. Yeah. Everyone was like, they're not wearing this. They're not wearing this. I'm they shouldn't be holding it like that. I'm so glad we're here. <laughs> We could have easily died. Well, we had like shitty, like should have goggles died. on, and that's it. Mm. What, Natasha? <laughs> Where is she? She needs a stern talking to. <laughs> Natasha, get back. We have to rehire Natasha Hold so we up can the fire show. her. Hold, the show doesn't go on until she gets out here. We're just gonna wait. <laughs> well, it could be a while. Um, <clears throat> but Gil prepped us with some good safety tips. Safety. Everyone's wearing uh, nice natural blends. Uh, this is good. Uh, cotton is what you want, uh, or you know, you want to go basically anything that won't burn and melt with your flesh. Oh, 
Yeah, so anything synthetic, anything like nylon, raylon, all that, will burn to and adhere to your skin. And in the hospital, they have to peel that off of you. It comes with your skin. Great. So, just an FYI, I'm glad you guys have, uh, have all prepared. You all have your steel-toed boots. That's yeah. great, jeans that's and, wonderful. Jeans and t-shirt. Jeans and t-shirt, this is pretty much what I use okay. uh, pretty okay. much every day, so mm -hmm. um, okay. what I've got on here. I usually wear an apron, a leather apron. Um, I believe you guys came with your own aprons. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, we'll uh, put them on as soon as possible. Mine says kiss the cook. <laughs> <laughs> Treat everything in the blacksmith shop as if it was hot. So even this table, even though you know that it's not hot, just as a, as a good general rule, walk around Don't avoiding touch. objects. Don't touch um, shit. Got it. We're working with fire. Are we gonna burn our hands? Do we have gloves? You can use gloves, but I try to uh, get people not to use them, and it's a safety thing. The reason being is that you put a glove on, and you're working, and scales flying off of it. It's coming off at the same temperature as the piece that you're working on. If it falls in your hand, <gasps> you can't take that glove off fast enough to wipe that, uh, that scale off. Why did you pick such a dangerous hobby? I don't know. What's the worst you ever done yourself? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. We'll change that today. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready for your studio to burn down today? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, so one more thing. I noticed you guys have rings on. These will have to come off because you're gonna be holding on to tongs and hammers. And typically, when you're squeezing down on that and you're working uh, the steel, it'll, over time, begin to mash. Uh, so unfortunately, I have to take mine off as well. Sorry, if you uh, I'm signal for the rest of the episode, everybody. <laughs> if you wanna, got about 40 minutes to. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> But I noticed you have your hair pulled back. That's great. Uh, no, no necklaces. We're good to go, guys. Okay. Maybe we can uh, melt some polyester to your flesh in the subtle shape of an S. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do it. <laughs> um, and then it was time to make the blade, mm -hmm. which we needed heat. You can't make a blade without heat. This is a science show. So this is where I, the actual magic happens. The oh. forge is all lit up, your piece is already inside. But let's talk about the tools. A blacksmith has several tools in their arsenal. So he fired <laughs> up his little oven forge thing. <clears throat> yep. Extremely loud. That's been another uh, theme of this season. Filming in places that are impossible to film. Yeah. It looked like hell in a shoebox. It was like a little square rectangle. And we would lay our chocolate bars in there for it to heat up, heat up, heat up. And then he had these gigantic tongs mm -hmm. that we grabbed. And we he got, he's got the friggin' anvil, a couple of anvils. How then, hot does it get in there? This one can get about 2,200 degrees. 2,200? 2,200. 2,200 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. Just give right it a now. little tickle, Sam. <laughs> Boy. Just stick your hand in there. See no, what happens. Thank you. <laughs> Hammers are very, very important. The type of hammer you're using will dictate how much metal is moved, how uh, the metal is moved in particular, and um, how tired you get at the end of the day. This one is tip, not a beginner's hammer. This is a advanced, it's it. about four uh, pounds uh, in weight. So when you're swinging this thing, it'll tire you out. Uh, the other one over there is about a Good two workout. and a half pound ball peen hammer. That's typically what we have uh, the starters use. I'm okay. All right, no, no, I, I hear you. So this is mine right here, and I'm going to take it over to here. Ooh, ooh. And notice that I'm striking pretty hard. I'm letting gravity do most of the work. It could hurt me. It's real. There's sparks. Whoa. You flip it back on the side. What? Hammer it straight again, go back again. Wow, look at the sparks Whoa. every once in a while shoot off. Now what you don't notice is this hand is holding onto it very tight. Sure. Because if I had it loose, it'd just fly off. Oh. <laughs> so we want to make sure that that has a good grip and you're hammering onto it. Notice now the color is gone. Yeah. It's no longer bright orange, right? This anvil is acting like a heat sink. It'll draw all that heat down into it until this gets the same temperature as this, which will never happen. So this is, this is basically going to be your, your enemy number one, is dealing with how quickly this gets cold. So we have to stick it back into the forge and let that heat up. And I don't care about sharpening now. We're just getting the general shape. We're just shape. getting the shape, correct, okay. yeah. So we're gonna... I picked a super fucking hard shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you with that, don't worry. Hey Gil. Yeah. Asking for a friend, not yes. for me. If you happen to be like a weak bitch, uh, <laughs> is this process gonna be harder? It will be a little bit longer, but 
what you want to do is use gravity to your advantage. Okay. This is actually what I was going to get right into. Basically, when you're striking down here, what a lot of people tend to do is they'll over force it down. They'll go, okay, well, I, I see what Gil's doing. They'll want, they want to go ahead and, and strike it pretty hard. You want to strike hard, but you don't want to go faster than gravity is kind of allowing you to. So when you're striking, it'll be a natural motion. It actually kind of starts off in the shoulder too. You're not just doing this. You're not doing the wrist. You're not doing the forearm either. The whole body is into it, right? Like, just like when you throw a punch, you don't want to throw with just your thing. You want to throw all of it. If you took off your shirt right now, is this half of your body <laughs> just like jacked and this half is just puny and atrophy? No, I, luckily I'm ambidextrous. Whoa! So I can hammer with both. Um, wow. I don't use that as often as I should, sure. but I, I am ambi. Can you still take off your shirt? Just I can do that just okay, for you, yeah. Cool. And I'll get the stripper pole set up for cool, you guys. That's you. what all the oil's for. When he friggin' did his magic, his forearms are like Popeye forearms. They're like yeah. weathered ropey arms and he was able to last a lot longer than us obviously because he does he does nothing but this it's so tiny and puny yeah i mean look at this wrist yeah you know those There's creatures nothing. you see from the bottom of the ocean that are like pale white and just flaccid uh, like Lobfish weak sort of yeah just that's you you saw what i did right yeah of course i know what i'm doing Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All of it's orange. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I, where? How? Right, right here. <laughs> oh my Does that feel God. good? Does that feel safe? No. <laughs> as not, much as, as, as well as you can this. now. Uh, hold your hand right there, a little closer. Yeah, right there. Does that feel natural to you? No. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind me? I flip it over. That's obvious. <laughs> so, that's all cold now, so uh, we have to stick it back in, unfortunately. Do I do this thing? No. Yeah. Oh. No, you stick it back in. Okay. You got that? No. Ah! Ah, it's hot! Of course you do, see? <laughs> It's, it's so bad. hot and scary. You yeah. could stop though. I mean, that's a very subtle S shape. <laughs> <laughs> to make an S is gonna take a thousand hits. Oh, easy. Why did I choose that? <laughs> you guys are gonna be here for hours. Sorry, it's the we'll most do it. boring episode ever. <laughs> we'll hit an arcade and we'll time lapse it. Disneyland's right <laughs> down the street. Hours, yeah. yeah. It's really hard. I was using. I wasn't even using the heaviest hammer, and I after I don't know five or six hits. I'm done, man. It's, it was time consuming. I'll go. All right. You want to swap out for a bit? Sure. Yours is number one. Pretty much done. Just a couple more hits and I'm there. I want. Scary, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, it looks Fuck. scary. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now try that one out. That might be a little bit too too heavy. Too for heavy. You. What about this one? Try it. No. I like this one. Is this too light? That's probably too light, and it won't uh, move the metal as much. Me use this for now and then I have a, a okay. smaller one here that might also suit you. I like this one. I like that. You can also choke up on it. This Let's will help. Do, yeah. Which brings your hand closer to the heat. Shut your mouth. <laughs> it's fine. It's All right. fine. All right, bring it out. All right. Holy shit. Okay. Forge that shit, Burton. No. Think of it like <laughs> like you're doing okay. this. Okay. You, right now you're only using yeah. your wrist. Because I'm, I'm scared. I know, it's okay. That's good, that's good. All right, yeah. all right, yeah. I see. Ah. <laughs> all right, it's too cold now, let's put yeah. it back in. All right, I see, I that's see, good. I see. You did good. You're when you good. miss, it scares you. Oh yeah, it really You're does. a blacksmith now. Am I? Yes. <laughs> You're doing it, Ari. Let's do this. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's moving. Whoa. Oh, God. Get it, girl. Yes. Oh, power. Oh. <laughs> Think of all the sacrifices you will make with this blade. Oh, oh God. Oh, every time. It's a stunner. <laughs> the anvil really fights back sometimes. It is hardened steel, and so is the hammer, and that's oh. why when they hit each other, they'll bounce, they'll rebound, basically. I think that's why it scares me so much, because like when you get connecting with the hot metal, it stays. Yep. When you hit the anvil, it fights you. 
That's how you know you're still working uh, properly when you're hitting the, uh, the hot metal, uh, is it has like a thud effect to it. If it starts to cool down, it'll be more tingy, okay. and it'll begin to fight back on you. Looking good, looking good. How are your arms feel? <laughs> you want is, a second? Yeah. Yeah. This is a workout. Yeah, it is. Oh, absolutely. I don't think I'm any stronger than anyone else, but should one of us use the big hammer for about If you <laughs> want to. That's the big one, right? First of all, spoilers, I was actually good at something. Um, this was the one. Yeah, the we've, we've one done, thing. We've done 13 episodes of this show. Lucky number 13, this was your time to shine. Can't dance. <laughs> Can't use a chainsaw without the instructor constantly yelling at me. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, can't find ghosts. When we did the seance. Oh, yeah. You were bad at that. Yes. <laughs> at, a, at a passive uh, thing that you just had to sit there and answer questions. Couldn't even do it. Who is it, Leo? I don't know. You're terrible at everything. I, this show is not for me. No, it's no, it's really not. But this skill, what do you think about this was made you so successful at it? <sighs> well, I do do a lot of push-ups, so maybe I had some forearm strength going okay. to hold the tongs. Well, do you want to grab it? Sure. The, uh, so the hammer goes down. It's better to grab it with like uh, this, two right? hands, and then you'll switch it over. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we oh, go. Boy, here it is. This is the way. <laughs> there you go. This is, this the, is way. the way. There it is. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I, I, Matthew Mercer, doing a dwarven character. I <laughs> put your thing down, flip it, and reverse yeah. it. <laughs> ah, you can see that twist you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow, I love how it like Good. She's the best Sparkles. out of all of us. Yeah. That hammer. Why is it sparkle when you hit it? It's the scale basically um, That's popping rad. on the uh, the hot steel. That's right. It's pretty good. He's pretty good. What's that hammer? Whatever. Just like be naturally good at it. Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh, oh I. You have to hold that heated chocolate bar uh, there, and then you've got you know I don't know how long it was, but it felt like a half a minute maybe a minute to, to wail on that thing. Before it gets cold. Before it gets cold and then you gotta stop. We had to do a lot of pounding. We had to take these heavy hammers and just pound the shit out of our rods. Feel free to, you know, do whatever you want audience with this footage. Good to go. Here I go with oh. my with my hammering. Oh, oh. So, oh, what? try to get a little bit more power into that. I'm terrified. Oh. There you go, you can see the metal moving now, right? No, no, bad! Oh! <laughs> I just missed! Oh, I missed again! <laughs> I keep missing! All right, now flatten it 90 the other way, and then strike in the center to yeah, make sure it's flat. All right, let's stop. Good to go. Stick it back in. I've made no progress! <laughs> Turn into All Work No Play to watch Sam, Mika, and Liam bang rectangles for two hours. <laughs> I got I got blisters on my hand. Yeah, you and Mika. Mika got a boo-boo as well. Yeah, Get on a band-aid first. Oh no! It's not a very sticky band-aid. Uh, it's a You're broken band-aid. So now you have oh, no. a I'm trying to get a band-aid. Forget it, I'll do it later. Here we go. What do I Work do? Work on the edge now. There you go. Subtle ass right. shape! The, the butter-like right. hands. Right, yes. Your your hands are like uh veal. <laughs> yep. Tender yep. And light. Mm, foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hit it hard, yeah. but the harder you hit- Your aim was bad. Your aim, you, it's harder to aim. Half the time, not half the time, that's cruel. Like three fifths of the time, mm -hmm. you would hit right next to the metal. Just hit the anvil. And yelp a and little And yelp bit. a lot, right? Well, he gave us a, a selection of hammers. Right. 
You went for a pretty big one. It was big. I wanted to I wanted to see if I could handle the strength like Thor holding Mjolnir. And you did. I did. Very successfully. Mm -hmm. I went with a medium grade hammer. Mm -hmm. And then Mika took a little one. Yeah, a tiny little mm -hmm. uh like uh like the hammer in Shawshank Redemption. Just a little little like it'll take 20 years to get through but she's gonna do it and she had sort of like a little like a like a rabbit hit it was just it was fast and <laughs> light <laughs> it was awesome i am making an s <laughs> that is my comment all right stop there go over here my name immortalized forever in liquid hot metal Gil, who is a fucking amazing at it, is hitting it at the proper angle over and over again. And we were just going like, ah, uh, to see what would happen. But yeah. he's like, I need to go along this angle, this line, there, there. So he could see the, you know, it was like he was a sculptor looking at a giant block of stone and seeing the statue, yeah. the, the, like the, the, the nude that he wanted to exist afterwards. And he was able to just chip away. All right, guys, we're actually done forging for the most part. We're gonna go straight into grinding. You guys did a really good job. I, I, I'm really impressed with uh, all your skills, especially you, Liam. Just, Again, <sighs> just to... You know, I have almost killed myself on every other episode, so it was inevitable that I'd be good at something. Right, there you go. This is it. And also, is... Mika and Sam were good. So great, wow, amazing yeah, talent. You guys were there, too. Mm -hmm. Wow, we found your calling. Yeah. You are just a meathead who likes to pound metal. All right, guys, this is going to be the grinding stage. Now, we've already hammered quite a bit on there. We're pretty much good to go, but let's go ahead and make it sharper still. So this is the belt grinder. It's going to run pretty fast. Uh, wearing gloves is kind of the preferred method. Uh, one is you don't want to obviously hit it with your fingers, and also the metal will get warm, and uh, it'll allow you to work a little bit longer. Also, dipping it into the uh, water there will help cool it down. So, um, let's go ahead and fire it up. Masks okay. up. Oh, why do we wear these masks? Well, the mask protects you from the debris that's flying off of here. Ah. This is basically creating iron dust in the air. Ooh. And if you can, if you breathe that, if that's going to go into your lungs and it could turn into rust. Which Ooh. It's a bad, bad day when that happens. So. We're at 50% right now. I can turn it up higher. I'm losing it right at 80%. 80. You can go about half an inch more. Like right around there, you'll stop How driving. do I get that to look like that? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna take oh, away no, a little bit no, more no, here, okay, and no. a little more right here. I feel like we need to say the word Laura Bailey just because it's the last episode of the season. Okay, done. You know, it just had to happen. There you go. She's she's the quiet presence that has buoyed this show along all this time. She is. Yeah. So. Like super deadly. Like if you get a little metal dust in your in your lungs, mm -hmm. that's it. End end of story. Mm -hmm. What a shitty way to go. Very hard to breathe in those masks, but and talk and record sound. Sure, but we made made, made it work. I guess. Thank you yeah. for the sound mm -hmm. department, Chris. Were you there that day? Thank you for recording us. Thank you for sticking around. Unlike some people we know, <sighs> Natasha. Natasha needs her own sound. Look, <gasps> she's got something. You could just bring it right. Bring on, it right Natasha. over. You could Your just camera walk ready. out here. Your camera ready. Yeah. Get over here. Get over here. Everyone, play that sound effect. Too what was the sound sweet. effect? So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did hey, it. She's on camera, she's guys. On camera. No, neither camera can see her. None of these cameras can see Wait, her. What? And it should be just cruel and embarrassing. How about I'll record my mom saying, I'm disappointed in you. She never said that. No, she didn't. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. She loves me so much. <laughs> my mom's the greatest. It's kind of true. I don't know. I love the shit out of you. I love you too. Um, and we should reward ourselves by maybe taking a peek at what we together, our yes. friendship and our love created. Yes, how our love 
and friendship, we with Mika oops, included, sorry. led to death. We made knives and we let Gil sort of improve upon them for us. In yep. My wallet. Nah, I'm not gonna okay. It. Okay. Um, and he he took the blades that we forged and sort of put the finishing touches on them. Yep. Um, we've been told that these. Wow. Ooh. Um, we've been told that these blades are super duper sharp. Yeah. And that we should not touch them. So we will <clears throat> definitely be touching them. Man, oh, this is amazing. Wow. Terrifying. Should we simul show them? Yes. Ooh. One, Ooh. Two, one, one, two, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Fly. What does yours say? say oh mine has words on it it says yours has oh you had you chose like now you bleed out that's right and uh, uh mika just chose runes that she put on hers yep um mine doesn't say anything except the greatest thing the letter s yeah <laughs> that's all you need to say really when you're stabbing a guy s for stab I gotta, i'm sam i'm sam i gotta touch it i gotta touch it yeah oh it's pretty sharp yes it is Wow, it's and not. it's shiny. He put a shine on, and he did this. These are called shells. Sh shells? What are they called? Shells. Scales? Scales. Shells. Scales. Shells. And then these are pins or something. I don't know. And then this is the, the, the thing. The guard. Thank you. I'm an I, expert. I knew all of that. This is my this is my guard. Oh, you have a straight guard? Oh, yeah. you got a straight guard. This one's so much cooler. Mm. It's also an S. This is classic. I've got a knife that has two S's. SS. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Back it up. Oh God. I've back got, it up. I've got an SS knife. Oh, you're, oh Jesus. Oh God. Don't let your family. I can't ever show Don't this. let your family see this episode. Oh Thank God. You. What have I done? <laughs> oh, end it. End the episode right now. Liam, as we as we get towards the end of this show. Yeah. Do you think that this season was successful? Did we? Yes, because it happened. Yeah? Yeah. It. I, I wondered Just, if- It's existence it is It exists. Enough? Defies all odds. We do a lot of stuff now. We do what we used to do, which was raise our kids. Yeah. Hardcore. We raise our kids. Hardcore. Hardcore. Um, love the shit out of our kids and 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 feel the world with our wives and, and make life happen. But man, there is so much now. There's Every, a lot of responsibility. Everything so much. We we made a few hours. Well, this friendship is important to me. It is to me too. Even beyond this building, like if this burning, holy this shit, burning. If this building burned down, I would still want to be your friend. I think that's fair to say, right? Sure. Um, and I feel like even if if ever if all this goes away, we'll we'll, we'll still want to do some fun. We done. Of course, we will. So, have you ever cosplayed? Like cosplayed as a character that you've. Uh, I mean, recently right. I did dress up as my character Gara from the Nartudo that's series. That's right. We did for Halloween. Yeah. But that's the closest I've ever come. Yeah. I, mean, I don't, I don't have the skill that, that Mercer or Mika have for Mika for is making. amazing at it. Maybe we can flash some pictures oh up here. Oh my gosh. Show her best one right now. Oh, yep. I Jeez. remember that one. Wait. Whoa. And then the, the one after that. Oh, come on. come on. So detailed, but let's not forget about this one. Uh huh. There is one though that we must never speak of. But we should start. We'll with. We'll show it really quick. Uh huh. But don't don't add her about it. Don't. I mean, it's yeah, a, that one was questionable. Yeah. Also, show twenty more right now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There they were. Great. Um. Wow. What a tour through Mika's life. We you just know, just took. put a button on it and show me Sam in something risque. <laughs> there Man, you. this is going to be so much fun to edit for someone. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> This is why Natasha quit the show. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> well, good, because it's our last episode of the season, mm -hmm. um, which is sad. I'm sad. Are you sad? Uh, well, uh, yes, I am sad. I wish that we had, as always, as I have for years, I wish that you and I had more time together. Yeah. Not, not just to play Dungeons and Dragons for thousands of hours and not just to like uh, design and plan and write cool shit, but, you know, to share a beer and uh, to give you a hug once in a while and, and like go to an activity, do an activity. I know. It's kind of fun. It's kind of great. Yeah. But we, 
We don't. We're busy. We're busier. The busiest we've ever been in our lives. We did have some fun this season. We did some magic. We yeah. did some chainsaw. Mm -hmm. We did some spa. Saw fucking fantastic friends. Show all our friends. Uh-huh. Just not just the friends from this season. No, all, all of our of them. friends <laughs> in the world. I've known a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a deep dive. Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> I don't even know, remember him, but I guess we're friends. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, but we did a lot of great stuff this season, and for our one and a half episode season three, mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna have to make it count. It's gonna be one and a half episodes, so we only get to do one and a half activities. What do you want those activities to be besides skydiving? Well, I think I was just about to say. I think if there are one and a half episodes, the audience wants to see me eat a ghost pepper and vomit all over you. <laughs> Yeah. That's the full episode. And then the half episode is just us jumping out of a plane. But not. Nobody knows what happened. <laughs> yeah. Parachute doesn't open. Maybe they made it. That's Maybe it. they didn't. You don't know. Tune into the next episode of Critical Role. Are they still there? <laughs> we had we we had a, a list this season of things that we were going to try to do. Oh, it was like 30 things long. Yeah. There were great plenty of things, gold, too. Yeah. There were st things. No, stop. What? I can't spoil it? Stop. We're not, we're not going to do another season. We are going to do another it's season. One episode. We're going to do another season. We're going to do more episodes of this show. We're going to know each other until we're dead, Sam Regal. That's that like six more months at least. Which one of us do you think will die first? Me. That was so fast. Yep. Why do you think it's you? I see ghosts and I see my end. Wow. Mm. How will you go? Listen, think of me as your... Liam O'Brien pre-ghost. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. If there's anything that I have learned in my uh, ramp up to ghosthood, uh -huh. it is that time is short and you have to enjoy your time with your friends mm -hmm. um, and make the most of life without ghost peppers and without jumping out of a plane. That was profound. Yeah. Think about it. Just it gets deeper the more you think about it. I don't think it does, um, but I will avoid those things, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I do value my friends. I value our friendship. So much. Um, I love spending time with you. I wish we could do it more. Those shoes are very distracting. Hmm. They seem like something I would own mm -hmm. and not you. Well, you've rubbed off on me over the years. Yeah, I have. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Yeah.